So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. You know what? Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Well, I bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. Your pure skin just wonderfully fades out into the highlights of the wheat behind you. Yeah, thanks. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. The curse of being a photographer. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic Cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And... Yes, we are. It was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. So, there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and... Yes, yes. I'll hold up my end of the deal. Don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you, do you enjoy being white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Any time, any place. Now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, you deserve it. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher's a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. So... he's... Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh. That makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. 
I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough, you can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a bitch. How? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this, and he won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. See you after school? Yeah, may as well. Oh, hey, was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't, uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kind of confronting him, and his arguments weren't that out there. I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like... He asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethnostate for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethnostate anyway? A country where all the non-white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. Oh, cool. You joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? My what? You know, to support this grand cause. Grand cause? No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is, like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. You gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere, and you can belong too! So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. So let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. So what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it? Just so I could review at home and practice? Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. All right, you better start rolling. Aryan Brothers, assemble! Yo, we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. White Pride Worldwide! White Pride yeah, Worldwide! Awesome. White Pride awesome! You're doing great, worldwide. guys! So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? 
I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants, too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Upload. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire school. He kind of just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party.